Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll tell you if you can install the Luma 3DS custom firmware on your 3DS to play 3DS Homebrew or to use the FBI CIA file installer or for other things that you might want to do. The good message first, you can install Homebrew on or the Luma 3DS custom firmware on every of these 3DS and on every 3DS in general, but you will need different steps depending on which 3ds you have so first you'll have to categorize them and on one side we have the old 3ds consoles that's the old 3ds the old 3ds xl the old 2ds the one without the lid and on the left side we have the new 3ds consoles that have new in the name that's the new 3ds the new 3ds xl and the new 2DS XL. You can check if you have a 3D, new 3DS if you have this C-Stick to control games. Anyways, that's that are both of these categories. And the first option will work with every console, every 3DS console. You need an R4 card or a flash card. And a few examples, these are all supported. You can use the current cards from r4i-sdhc.com. The current cards from r4i-sdhc.com with the label of 2014 or newer. So you can also use 2020 or 2021 cards. You can use the ACE 3DS. That's often a multi-card game. And you can use the r4i Gold 3DS Plus or the processor predecessor the r4i gold 3ds rts so if you have one of these cards or one of a few more like the stargate 3ds you can use an ntr boot i will link the different videos for the different clash cards in the description so you can check the video for your card if you have one of these cards but it's possible that you don't have one of these cards and then you will have to use another option the other option requires an internet connection for the 3DS and you will have to access the SD card and you have to put a few files onto it. I have tutorials for the different consoles and I will link them as soon as I explain them. But uh, make sure to check the video of the tutorial for your 3DS console. And first you have the old 3DS consoles. The vulnerability for these probably won't be patched so it will work with every firmware on every region and i will link the tutorial to use that option in the info card as i said you need an internet connection and an option to copy stuff to the sd card and for the new 3ds consoles there's also an option but that probably won't work beyond the 3ds firmware 11.14.0 you can check your firmware if you go into the system settings and then there's a string on the right bottom side of the upper screen and there's a number like E or N or J 11.14.0 or something similar. And this will only work if the current firmware is 11.14 and if your 3DS is on the latest firmware that's 11.14. I will add a note to the description if a new firmware is released that patches the option for this 3DS or for all new 3DS consoles, then you have to go back to NTR boot. But currently you have a free option for these consoles as well. Anyways, that was it for this video. I hope that you liked it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the part for your 3DS or to hack your 3DS if you want that. And bye.